I'm Zain, I'm a University of Sheffield Education Officer. Joined by Brother Hassan from Sheffield University. Joined by Brother Hassan from Sheffield ISO. Joined by Brother Omar, who's the president uh, at York Islamic Society. Well, actually, uh, before I came, I didn't actually know anything about FOSIS. I knew there were the, uh, like I said, the, the, the ISO sort of built up, but uh, I had no idea. Um, yeah, no, I've learned a lot. And also, they did like um, workshops on like leadership and things, and it makes you. And because they're students before, the people who are running, like yourself, um, it makes you realize that you know you can push yourself and, and get. Um, well, to be honest with you, I attended ISOC 101 when I was in my first and second years, and it, I can say it really has moved on quite a lot, um, both in terms of number in and interest. Uh, and also just the general structure of the program is well structured. Uh, there's you know, certain uh, programs uh, and workshops within that are really interactive and interesting and really makes these students engage. So I think in terms of progress, we've really have progressed a lot over the last few years. How can you deny the oneness of Allah? It was very good, uh, especially for us. I uh, learned a lot of good things, new things. And inshallah, we'll be able to go and talk the ice for uh, bigger, uh, do better activities. Uh, amazing, uh, inspiring, and educational. I think the event was great. It was very comprehensive. It uh, included details of a lot of things, which personally I felt that even my society required attention. And I didn't think that uh, you know these issues were you know, um, this kind of treatment provided by any organization. So uh, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it, I found it quite beneficial. Uh, I liked how you kind of involved the more traditional Islamic approaches to modern kind of music and uh, ISOC. I've learned a great deal today, the support and the teaching the ISOC, and I've learned a lot of different things. Definitely things I've got to input to the ISOC in the coming years, and I've got to get things around this. The plants and the trees, the sun and the seas, you and me. I can't remember why, but I can remember there was something very good about it. Uh, I think it was the relating everything back to the days of Prophet and the com Prophet's companions. And, uh, that makes a lot of sense and inspires everybody to, inshallah, do good and uh, I think uh, our favorite part was, uh, I think it was everything, because uh, you used every different method to teach us, you engaged in very different ways, you made sure everyone was involved, no one was left out, everyone was contributing, so I think that ensured that everyone got something out of this. I was thinking myself of maybe contacting uh, yourself or like uh, one on one training with our ISOC. There's a lot of key skills which I know, you know that I need to implement, um, not also coming from the position which I have, but also learning from other people's point of views, other people's perspectives and different positionings. Um, so I guess knowledge is, knowledge is power. I really enjoyed the scenarios. Um, it's really interesting to, to see what you do in such a situation, uh, especially like you said yourself, you shouldn't make the same mistake twice. And that is ISO 101. One, two, three.